All right, Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all honor, glory, and praise unto Yahweh, Bahasham Yahweh Shai, Bahasham Rakakwadash, the honors to our apostles and our elders of Great Millstone for teaching us this truth through well. I'm going to be making this uh, this video about the tribe of Dan. You know, I had been I had been waiting to make it for a while, man, and and you know, you know, Satan hinders you, you know. Um, but I thought it was a perfect opportunity to do it, especially because the spirit right now is is on the tribe of Dan. Where happened to the tribe of Dan? You know, where is the tribe of Dan today? So, <clears throat> you know, this is just a, a small article. All right. Which it's, you know, for the most part, is pretty accurate. So it says um, and it's on patheos.com. All right. It says, why is the tribe of Dan missing from the book of Revelation? All right. It says the tribes in Revelation, when the Apostle John wrote the book of Revelation, which was really Yahweh Shai's revelation and not his own. All right. So this is coming straight from Yahweh Shai, man, which, you know, we knew. But sometimes when you read a book, you know, you're thinking of the of the human that that wrote it, you know, and I'm talking about, you know, mo most of these Christians, you know, really these Christians and 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 these people that say they follow Yahweh Shai, you know, but then they say, well, the you know, the Bible is a, a man's book. You can't you can't fully trust it all right but this is the word of the most high man so you have to trust it all right so this revelation was from yahweh and yahweh shai all right it says why was the tribe of dan not mentioned along with the other tribes all right and this is revelations chapter 7 where you know it says twelve thousand out of the tribe of judah twelve thousand out of the tribe of reuben twelve thousand out of the tribe of gad of the tribe of asher of the tribe of naphtali of the tribe of manessa it's 12 tribes in total you know, and, and and Levi is mentioned, you know, let me see, where is it at? Uh, tribe of Issachar, Zebulon, Benjamin, let's see, Judah, Gad, Asher, Nephtali, Manasseh, Simeon of the tribe of Levi, 12,000, you know, because the Levites originally it was 12, 12, like 12 tribes. All right. The tribe of Levi wasn't counted as a as a tribe, so there would have been thirteen tribes, you know. But the tribe of Levi was not mentioned as one of the tribes of Israel, even though they were, you know, because they were they were the priests, you know. So you had the tribe of Dan, the tribe of Gad, and then you had the other the other ten, you know. Those were the tribes of of Israel, and then you had the tribe of Dan done away with. And the tribe of Joseph was split into two, which is Manasseh and Ephraim. All right. And that's what made the 12. You know, that's what had made the 12. You see, because the tribe of Joseph was cut away. The tribe of Dan was cut away. You know, but then you replace Ephraim and Manasseh and then you add Levi back in. That makes the 12. You know, that's why you have Judah 1, Reuben 2, Gad 3, Asher 4, Nephtali 5, Manasseh 6, Simeon 7, Levi 8, Issachar 9, Zebulon 10, Joseph, all right, which is Ephraim, um, 11, and Benjamin 12. You see? So now you have 12 tribes instead of 13. You know, so the tribe of Gad, I mean, uh, uh, Dan wasn't included. The tribe of Dan, the name of Dan, all right, is mentioned in the book of Genesis because the Most High has had uh, uh, one of the, the mothers, all right, of the children of Israel had said, I believe it was uh, the slave woman, you know, the, the, uh, the servant woman of the Israelite woman, uh, Rachel. Um, or not the Israelite woman, Salakia, the uh, uh, the uh, cousin of Jacob. <clears throat> she has said, "The Most High has looked upon me, and therefore he has he has judged me. So therefore I shall call his name Dan." You know, which Dan means to judge. You know, a judge. So it says, uh, "Being sealed is indicative of their security, because anything." That has the king's seal on it cannot be broken by man. And in this case, it's the most high seal, which has the greatest of all authority 
So why isn't the tribe of Dan mentioned anywhere in the New Testament, even though they were one of the original tribes? Why is Dan missing from the 12 tribes of Israel that are listed in Revelation 7? Where did the other tribe come from that replaced Dan in the book of Revelation? All right, and I explained it briefly. All right, but this is the tribe of Dan. It says, is found in the book of Genesis, where Jacob prophesied that Dan shall judge his people as one of the tribes of Israel. All right, and these, these uh, we believe here at Great Millstone, that Genesis 49, all right, for the most part, is talking about future prophecies, especially when it comes uh, into the tribes of Israel. All right, if it's talking about the tribes of Israel, this is going to be a future prophecy. You know, that's why it says in the latter end, which means in the end, the very end, you know, the end times. And we are in those end times. It started from Yahweh Shai, you know, according to Hebrews chapter one, verse uh, one. So it says, Dan shall judge his people as one of the tribes of Israel. That's Genesis 49 and 16. This was Jacob's last blessing for his 12 sons before he died, but these are more than blessings. They also contain prophecies for each son tribe of Israel. Like out of Dan comes the Judges, the book of Judges. Well, there, there's different there, di, there's different Judges in the book of Judges, all right? It's not just the tribe of Dan. All right, you had Issacharites, you had um, uh, Benjamites, you know? So it wasn't just the tribe of Dan. But it says there was even a city, Dan, after the name of Dan, their ancestor. All right. And it's going to be going into why Dan was done away with, you know, why Dan wasn't wasn't considered one of the tribes of Israel anymore, you know, or why they weren't going to be considered as one of the tribes of Israel. You know, it says um, whose name was later changed to Israel. All right. Jacob. Dan had the same promises and blessings and cursings from obedience and disobedience that the other tribes had. So what happened? Why did the tribe of Dan disappear from the pages of scripture and never even mentioned in the New Testament, including the book of Revelation? All right. So that's something that's something that a lot of people don't understand. And it's a stumbling block. You know, the most high said it that way. One, to be a stumbling block and two. All right. For a very good reason. You know, and that reason is that the tribe of Dan, all right, is not going to be present themselves as the tribe of Dan. They're not going to present themselves as I, I, I'm, you know, so and so of the tribe of, of Dan, of, of the sons of Israel in the end times. They're not going to present themselves because Dan, the tribe of Dan itself was done away. All right. Now, it's clear to us because we believe in reincarnation, all right, which is another video in itself. But reincarnation is a thing in the Bible. All right. It's a, it's a true thing that we, uh, especially back then, used to believe in. You know, nowadays, only certain few believe in it. You know, talking about Great Millstone and, and you know, the true followers that you have by Shem Yahweh Shai. But only certain people follow that doctrine of reincarnation. Christianity doesn't follow it. And that's why Christianity doesn't know what happened to the tribe of Dan. You know? That's why Christianity doesn't understand why when Yahawashai comes back, he's going to see those that pierced him. You know, Christianity doesn't understand how John the Baptist could be Elijah. You see, Christianity can't understand why the apostles saw Yahawashai as one of the prophets of old coming back. And that's in the scriptures. It's because of reincarnation, you know. So the spirit of Edom comes back into the spirit of Edom. You know, you can't be an Edomite in this life. And because you did a couple good deeds, the Most High is going to bring you back as one of the children of Israel. And then you're going to be one of the elect at that. Yeah, that's going off, man. You know, so the Most High, what he did was the tribe of Dan. All right. After he did away with the tribes, the spirit of the Danites came back into one of the children of Israel. So now Dan, instead of presenting himself as so-and-so of the tribe of Dan, all right, for example, I would present myself as Aizar, Ban Yashak, Yashashkar, Ban Yashar Allah, all right, Aizar of the, uh, of the 
the tribe of Issachar of the tribe of Israel. If I was a Danite in my past life and I'm coming back presenting myself as one of the tribes of Israel, all right, that, that would be doable. Why? Because I'm, a, I'm an Israelite, you know, and I would be back in, in the spirit, uh, 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 in the flesh, lock it back in the flesh, which is reincarnation or regeneration of uh, uh, Issacharite, you know, but it could be that long time ago, you know, in my past life, I was actually a Danite, you know, of the tribe of Dan. So it says, why the why the ban of Dan? Why would Jacob bless and prophesy of Dan that Dan shall be a serpent in the way, a viper by the path? Why? Because of what they did, man. You know? Because Dan was the first tribe to turn away from Yahweh Bashim Yahushai. You know? That's being a serpent in the way. A viper by the path. You know? If you walk by a viper, what's a viper going to do, man? It's going to bite you, you know, and it's going to put venom into you. What's that scripture? Um, let me see. Psalms. To lock you. <coughs> Whoops. <clears throat> Psalms. What is it? 50, 58. Psalms 58 and verse 2. Yea, in heart ye word wickedness. Ye weigh the violence of your hands in the earth. The wicked are estranged from the womb. They go astray as soon as they be born, speaking lies. Their poison. All right. And this is the point. You know, verse uh, 3 is talking really about the wicked of the earth, which is Israel. I mean, uh, Salakia, the Edomites. You know, especially to Israel being a serpent, by the way. Um, but verse four is the point that a person can be a serpent. All right. Or a people can be a serpent. It says verse four, their poison is like the poison of a serpent. They are like the deaf adder that stoppeth her ear. You know why? Because of, of the wickedness that they brought into Israel, you know, and that started out with the tribe of Dan. And then it started out with the tribe of Judah or with the tribe of Issachar. It started out with the tribe of Dan. You know, and even if you told them to turn back, they didn't, you know, so let me go back. It says, Dan shall be a serpent in the way a viper by the path. Genesis 49 and 17. All right. Why? Because of the wickedness that they committed. It says right, right after that, uh, right after that, say they will be judges of Israel. All right. And that's something too deep for people to understand when it's not even that deep, you know, or to us, it's not deep, you know, but through reincarnation, the tribe of Dan is scattered throughout Israel. You know, the spirit of a Danite can come back as a Judite. The spirit of a Danite can come back as a, as a Issacharite, can come back as, as Manasseh, as, as Levi, you know, we believe that the tribe of Dan is going to come back or is back. All right. As one of the tribes of Israel, one of the tribes of Israel, which are the 12 tribes of Israel that we have now, you know, Ephraim, Manasseh, and the rest of them, you know, Judah, Benjamin, Levi, the Southern kingdom, and then the Northern kingdom, uh, Ephraim, Manasseh, and the rest of them, not including Dan. Those are the 12 tribes of Israel, you know, that's what it means by being one of the judges of Israel, you know, so it says Dan was not Rachel's child, but a servant that f that Rachel forced into having Jacob her, uh, bear a son. And so Rachel says, the most high Yahweh hath judged me and has also heard my voice and given me a son. Therefore, she called him Dan. All right. And his name, even like it says here, so even his name is associated with judging after Israel had settled into the promised land. The Danites felt they got cited in their inheritance. And that's Judges 18 and 1, which was not reality or which was not really true, according to Joshua 19 and 40 and 48. And so they went seeking a city for their own and found it. But on the ruins of a city, they destroyed. That's in the book of Judges. It says after they leveled Laish, they rebuilt the city and lived in it. And they named the city Dan 
after after the name of Dan, their ancestor, who was born to Israel. That was bad enough, but then, all right, the people of Dan set up the carved image for themselves, and Jonathan, the son of Gershom, son of Moses, and his sons were priests to the tribe of the Danites until the day of the captivity of the land. So they set up Micah, carved image into uh, that they that he made as long as the house of the Most High was at Shiloh. Since the nation failed to repent, you see, since the nation failed to repent, there is no biblical record of what happened to the descendants of the tribe of Dan. It may be because the Most High had separated them from his chosen people, so that may be why they're missing from the list on the 12 tribes of Israel, which is not why they may be. That's exactly why, a tri why the tribe of Dan is not presented as one of, uh, as a tribe. They're not presenting themselves as Dan, you know? So that prophecy in Genesis 49, where it says Dan shall uh, judge as one of the tribes of Israel. It didn't say Dan shall be a judge or, or Dan is, is a tribe of, no, one of the tribes of Israel. And that's why in Revelation 7, it gives you all the tribes of Israel. Because it was set that way, man. You have to remember that the Most High does not make any mistakes. All right? The Most High creates the end from the beginning, you know? So he already knew that tribe of Dan was going to go off, you know? But the spirit of the Danites is back today as one of the children of Israel. So it says, Amos 8 and 12, And they shall wander from sea to sea, and from the north even to the east, they shall run to and fro to seek the word of the Most High and shall not find it. And that day shall the fair virgins and young men faint for thirst. They that swear by the sin of Samaria and say, Thy God, O Dan, liveth, and the manner of Beersheba Be liveth, even they shall fall and never rise up again. All right, because Dan went off, man. They went after these false gods, false idols. All right, they were considered heathen. And they were cut off from the children of Israel. And then through the spirit, Joseph's sons, Manasseh, Ephraim, and Manasseh, because Ephraim is really the replacement for Joseph. And Manasseh is the replacement for uh, Dan. Ephraim and Manasseh were set into the inheritance of Israel. All right. Through the spirit. That's how it all happened. You know? So I wanted to show. I wanted to show. All right, this right here, because when I first saw this, man, you know, the brother, Yaibataza, which is the brother that woke me up to this truth. The brother, Yaibataza, man, whenever he, uh, uh, you know, one of the first things that we that we talked about when it came to chariots was the movie. Um, uh, Ark of the Lost Ark of the Lap. Salakia, Ark of the Lost Covenant, all right, which is the book of uh, Indiana Jones, you know, and, you know, I had been wanting to see it, and then one day it was free on, on, uh, what is that damn, uh, Netflix, I believe, <clears throat> you know, it was free on Netflix, so I watched it again, and I was like, man, this is, this is spiritual, all right, because how many uh, crystal skulls do you have in total? You have 13, right? Those 13, and how many tribes of Israel do you actually have in total? 13, all right? The tribe of Dan included, but the tribe of Dan cannot present himself as one of the tribes of Israel, all right? But he will judge as one of the tribes of Israel, which are the 12, you know? Which are these up here. Judah, Benjamin, Levi, Simeon, Zebulon, Ephraim, Manasseh, Gad, Reuben, Ephtali, Asher, and Issachar. Those are the 12. There's no Dan. All right. So, you know, when I was watching it, man, and, and this woman, all right, this one right here, you know, she says, I want to know, I want to know everything. All right. Which is a video in itself. You know, she gets, she gets knowledge, the wisdom, the understanding. And what happens to her is she blows up, man. You know, it, it's too much for her to handle. She's impure. And she gets destroyed by that knowledge. The same thing with this truth, you know, which Lord willing, I can make a video on that soon. But the one I really wanted to focus on was this one, man. All right. Here you have one. All right. And it skips that one. 
all right if you see it you notice it there's 13 skulls that one gets skipped this one becomes that one and then this one starts counting one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve all right that's 12 which represents what the 13 tribes of israel all right only 12 are going to be put together into one you know and it was always said all right one of the mysteries let me see if i can get it somewhere else uh prophecy of the 13 crystal skulls you know because this is really this is really spiritual man it's not an actual literal thing it's more of a spiritual thing you know it says the legend of the great flood which was passed down from ancient times is one of the few enduring legends that is also shared by most cultures around the world why because it happened which scientists now confirm was real you see there was a flood they don't want to promote that because then that promotes the scriptures and then that promotes what we say which is true you know and then that promotes yahweh bashim yahweh shai so they don't want to promote that they just want to leave that out it says while the event marked an end time for many people around the world there may be some parallels to the mayan legends regarding 2012 all right which wasn't really anything you know it was just a beginning of a new era it says the more you learn about the crystal skulls the more you realize the power of the multiple crystal skulls um however 13 crystal skulls seem to be a common denominator amongst most crystal skull legends all right now let's go over here how many tribes of israel says 12 tribes all right what are the 12 tribes reuben levi judah issachar zebulon joseph benjamin um dan neftali zilpa had gad and asher but then you also have joseph replaced by ephraim and then you have the tribe of manasseh all right let's see uh manasseh Manasseh, one of the 12 tribes of Israel, you see, now Manasseh is added on there. Uh, in the biblical times, compromise of people of Israel, the tribe was named after the younger son of Joseph, himself a son of Jacob, in time of tribe of Manasseh, was assimilated by other peoples and thus became known in legend as one of the 10 lost tribes of Israel. Why was the tribe of Manasseh... put added after the death of Saul all the tribes of, other than Judah remain loyal to the house of Saul uh, tribe of Manasseh joined the other northern tri Israelite tribes in making Judah King David the king of the reunited kingdom of Israel what was the tribe of Manasseh known for all right but it was added on on by the most high man you know What what page was that? Uh, Genesis. All right, because <sighs> so lock you. <clears throat> That was an E. It says Genesis 41 and 51. And Joseph called the name of his firstborn Manasseh. And the Most High said, 
he hath made me forget all my toil, all my father's house. All right. So Joseph wanted Manasseh to be his, uh, to inherit, all right, his, his name, you know, but whenever, um, Isaac, I believe it was Isaac, uh, Joseph, no, it was, a. Uh, uh, yeah, it was Isaac. Um, whenever he he preached, uh, or Salaki, he he prophesied in the in the Holy Spirit. He gave it unto Ephraim instead of Manasseh. You know, and that was Israel, Salaki, not not Isaac. All right, but the same similar thing happened to Isaac. It says, um, uh, which uh, the daughter of. Uh, it says Genesis 48 and 1 and it came to pass after these things that one told Joseph behold my thy father is sick and he took with him his two sons Manasseh and Ephraim all right and that was uh uh Israel you know when he went up to visit Israel uh the man it says and now thy two sons verse 5 Ephraim and Manasseh which were born unto thee in the land of Egypt before I came unto thee into Egypt are mine are mine as Reuben and Simeon, they shall be mine. All right, so Ephraim and Manasseh were added into Israel, you know, and this was Israel himself, which was formerly known as Jacob, that had said, They are mine. And he said that in the spirit because Ephraim and Manasseh are included in the tribe of, 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 of Israel, you know, so it says Reuben. As Reuben and Simeon, they shall be mine. You see, Reuben and Simeon are one of the tribes of Israel. You know, so those are four tribes right there. So Ephraim replaced Joseph as a tribe and Manasseh replaced Dan. Otherwise, there would have been 13 tribes. At this point, Genesis 48 and 5, there would have been 13 tribes in total. You know, but since Dan was done away with, then you had... 12 tribes of Israel you know so it says uh, Genesis 48 and 13 and Joseph took them both Ephraim in his right hand towards Israel's left hand and Manasseh in his left hand towards Israel's right hand and brought them near unto him you know and then Ephraim was the one that took over Joseph and Manasseh was added on and that was through the spirit of Jacob you know in the name of the Holy Spirit he 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 prophesied and he brought Manasseh into the tribes of Israel man you know and then you know uh, uh Joseph thought he made a mistake and he was like yo this is Manasseh over here all right but Israel knew what he was doing you see in verse 14 it says and Israel stretched out his right hand and laid it upon Ephraim's head who was the younger and his left hand upon Manasseh's head, guiding his hands wittingly, for Manasseh was the firstborn. You know, so the, the promise went unto Ephraim. Ephraim was considered the tribe of, of, of Joseph. All right. And then Manasseh was grafted in to the 12 tribes. That's why Israel said, they shall be mine, even as, as uh, the other two tribes, Reuben and Simeon, you know. So those two belong to, to Israel now. That's basically what he was saying in the spirit, man. You know, and we know that Israel is a people before it was a place. All right. So now the whole nation of Israel consists of Manasseh and Ephraim. Ephraim being the head. All right. Being the head of the 10 tribes and Judah being the head of the three tribes, Judah, Benjamin, Levi. And then you have Ephraim and the other nine, you know which Dan is included, you know, but that, that, that was all done through the spirit, man. And in that movie, um, Ark of the Lost Covenant, uh, Indiana Jones, you start off with 13 skulls. And then as you're going through all of them being combining themselves, all right, you get to see how they become 12 instead of just being, you know, see how it starts right there. One, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 
9, 10, 11. It's lucky. I missed one. You know, I don't know how many times I had to watch this movie. That's one. That's two right there. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. And that became one whole. We became one whole tribe or one whole person, you know. And after that, those people are put together. What happens is that the, the it becomes a, a, a spaceship. All right, what is known as a UFO, unidentified flying object, all right, a disc, a roll, all right. It's a, a, a you see it come up out of the out of the ground and it gets lifted up and that's when all those skulls come together. All right, representing the 13 tribes of Israel including Dan, you know, but Dan can't present himself as as Dan. He's going to present himself as one of the tribes of Israel. All right. From Judah all the way down to Issachar. You know? And that's what that whole thing was about, man. You know, it was, it was very, very spiritual to see that. Let me see what this one consists of. Oh, that's her when she can't take all that knowledge in. You know? So, let me go to... Let me see. Let me just go to Revelation 7. In verse 3, Revelation 7 and 3, saying, Hurt not the earth, neither the sea nor the trees, till we have sealed the servants of our power in their foreheads. And I heard the number of them which were sealed, and there were sealed 144,000 of all the tribes of the children of Israel. You know? So let's do some, let's do some math, man, so you guys, you know, don't think we're we're lying all right you have 12,000 out of 12 12,000 out of 12 is 144,000 all right if you had the tribe of 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 Dan included then there should have been 12,000 out of that tribe as well you know so instead of 144,000 there should have been a hundred and and what is it 50 um or 60 something or a hundred and yeah, a hundred and fifty six. All right, which is completely going off, man. You know that's why the tribe of Dan was done away with because you have the tribe up here: Judah, Benjamin, or Judah, Reuben, Gad, Asher, Naphtali, Manasseh. All right, the tribe of Manasseh is included because I just read when when Israel. Has said that these two are going to be mine. Manasseh. Forgetting. The first son of Joseph. Alright. From the root word. Masha. Which is causing to forget. The eldest son of Joseph. Which is a uh, root word of. Na. Sha. Which is to deprive. Alright. Dispossess. You know, who was dispossessed? Dan, to cause to forget, forgotten. You know, because because the tribe of of Dan was forgotten, man, and it was um, replaced by the tribe of Manasseh. You know, and the tribe of Ephraim, which we'll read down here: uh, Simeon, Levi, Issachar, Zebulon, and Joseph we're sealed 12,000, all right? But the tribe of Joseph is seen as the tribe of, um, <clears throat> the tribe of uh, Ephraim. Ezekiel 37, in verse seven, so I prophesied as I was commanded, and as I prophesied, there was a noise, and behold, a shaking, and bones came to, came together bone to his bone and when i beheld low sinews and flesh came upon them and the skin covered uh co covered them above but there was no breath in them that means there was no wisdom all right no wisdom no knowledge no understanding and we know what yahweh said all right through solomon all right which is yahweh 
Uh, but when he was Solomon, he said, with all thy getting, get the understanding, you know? So our people started coming back together, but they were still no understanding in Israel. It says, uh, verse 10, so I prophesied as he commanded me and the breath came into them, which is what the knowledge, you know, I will pour out doctrine as knowledge. It says, and they lived and stood up on their feet an exceeding great army, all right, which we read about 12,000 out of each tribe. It says, then he said unto me, son of son of man, these bones are the whole house of Israel. Behold, they say our bones are dried and our hope is lost. We are cut off of our parts. Therefore prophesy and say unto them, thus saith the Lord Yahweh, behold, my people, I will open your graves and cause you to come out of your graves and bring you into the land of Israel. And ye shall know that I am Yahweh when I have opened your graves and opened. O my people, and brought you up out of your graves, and shall put my spirit in you, and ye shall live, and I shall place you in your own land. Then shall ye know that I, Yahweh, have spoken it and performed it, saith Yahweh. The word of Yahweh came unto me again, or came again unto me, saying, Moreover, thou son of man, take thee one stick, write upon it for Judah, and for the children of Israel his companions. Then take another stick and write upon it for Joseph, the stick of Ephraim, and for all the house of Israel, his companions. You see, so Ephraim and Manasseh are added into the 12 tribes because Joseph became Ephraim. All right. And Manasseh was added on when Dan was done away, you know, and Dan was done away for the wickedness that they committed, you know being a serpent by the way man as I, I as i wrote that one too you know as i broke that one down you know briefly going into how a person can be seen as as a serpent you know a person can be seen as a serpent as well and that's what dan was dan was a serpent by the way you know because they turn unto unto devils they turn onto false idols you know and if you turn into to false idols, you can be considered a heathen, even if you're an Israelite. You know, we always bring that one out in Ezekiel 30 or Ezekiel 20. It's unlucky. Ezekiel 20 and 32. And it says. And that which cometh into your mind, ye shall not be at all that ye say we will be as the heathen, as the families of the countries to serve wood and stone. And that's what happened to to uh, to Dan. All right. They wanted to be as the heathen, you know, so the Most High did away with the tribe of Dan. But the spirit, they're coming back as one of the tribes of, of Israel, whether that be the tribe of Manasseh. All right. Or whether that be scattered throughout the tribes. The tribes of. Um, of the Israelites, you know, as one of the tribes of the Israelites. You see, so that's really what, what happened with the tribe of Dan, man. The spirit came into. All right. To uh, into one of the tribes of Israel. Oops, it's up here. You see, and that's why you have the 12 tribes of Israel, which is in the book of Revelations. Twelve thousand out of each of these tribes. All right, is going to be saved. And that's what the book of, of Revelation speaks of. You know, it's never mentioned about Dan. And the last time Dan is mentioned is in the book of Amos 8 and 14, which is what I brought out, where it says, They that swear by the sin of Samaria and say, Thy God, O Dan, liveth, the manner of Beersheba liveth, even they shall fall and never rise up again. You see? <laughs> because Dan was done away with and the elder apostle uh, Ariamlab had done a breakdown on Ezekiel 48 talking about how that's not talking about a future prophecy. That's not talking about the tribe of Dan being in the kingdom of heaven. You know, he broke it down perfectly, man. You see, so if the tribe of Dan is not in the kingdom of heaven, then where is the tribe of Dan? 
the tribe of Dan itself was done away. The spirit of the Danites is going to come back as one of the sons of Israel, as one of the tribes of Israel, not sons, Salakia, one of the tribes of Israel, because the sons of Israel are the original 12. You know, those are the actual sons of Israel, which is in the book of Exodus. Um... It's in Exodus. I thought it was, you know, Exodus 1, actually. Um, let me see. Exodus chapter 1. Yep. It says, Now these are the names of the children of Israel which came into Egypt. Every man in his household came with Jacob which is changed to Israel. It says Reuben, Simeon, Levi, Judah, Issachar, Zebulon, Benjamin, Dan, Nephtali, Gad, Asher. All right. Those are the, the, the sons of Israel, you know, but the tribes, what is considered a tribe out of Dan came zero. So Dan was done away with. Now you have 11. Um, uh, the tribe of, uh, um, Joseph, all right, which is down here in verse 5, it says, And all the souls that came out of the loins of Jacob were 70 souls, for Joseph was in Egypt already. And that's why Joseph wasn't named, all right. But Joseph was known as Ephraim, and then Manasseh, when it came in, took the place of Dan. So now you have 12 tribes again, you know. So the, the actual sons of Israel. The literal sons of Israel are Reuben, Simeon, Levi, Judah, Issachar, Zebulun, Benjamin, Dan, Naphtali, Gad, Asher, and Joseph. But the tribes of Israel, all right, the tribes of Israel, Genesis 49, 28, all these are the 12 tribes of Israel. And this is the way their father spake unto them and blessed them. Everyone, according to their blessings, he blessed them. You know, so the new tribes of Israel are seen in the book of Revelations chapter 7. You know, because the sons of Israel can be seen as the tribes of Israel. But then later, like I said, Dan was done away with. And then Manasseh came in and Ephraim replaced Joseph. You know, so you have the 12 tribes still. Instead of the 13 so Luke 22 and 30, that ye may eat, drink at my table in my kingdom and sit on thrones, judging the 12 tribes of Israel. All right. So let's go into that. Twelve apostles of Yahweh Shai, so-called by eminence. Um, it won't say it there. Tribes. In the New Testament, all persons descending from one of the 12 sons of the patriarch Jacob, a nation of people. All right. It says, Israel, he shall be a prince of the Most High, and the Most High is a king. So what's a prince to a king? A son. It says, the name given to the patriarch Jacob and born by him in addition of his former name, the family of descendants of Israel, the nation of Israel. Uh, Christians, which the true Christians are the sons of Israel. It says, this Israel of, of the Most High, for not all those who draw their bodily descent from Israel are true Israelites, which is false. All right. They're not, um, they're not the elect is what it should say. All right. Not everybody that from Israel are the elect. Not all Israel is Israel, you know, are those whom the Most High pronounces to be Israelites and hath chosen to salvation. Because only Israel uh, uh, pertains to salvation, you know. So if the tribe of Dan wasn't wasn't included in Revelations chapter seven, then it wasn't by the will of man, all right, but by the will of the Most High, you know. So this is Revelation seven and nine. After this, I beheld and lo, a great multitude which no man could number, of all nations, kindreds, and people and tongues, stood before the throne, before the Lamb clothed with white robes 
and palms in their hands and cried with a loud voice saying salvation to our power which sitteth upon the throne and unto the lamb and all the angels stood round about the throne and about the elders and the four beasts and fell before the throne on their faces and worshiped the most high saying aman blessing and glory and wisdom and thanksgiving and honor and power and might be unto yahweh forever and ever aman you know so it's by the will of the most high that 12,000 out of the 12 tribes that we mentioned that we believe in all right that 12,000 out of all those 12 tribes are saved and Dan is not included, you know? And like I said, the spirit of Dan is going to come back as one of the Israelites, all right? But the tribe of Dan will not present itself as a tribe before the throne of the Most High, you know? So I hope that was edifying. And with that, I want to give all honor, glory, and praise unto Yahweh, Bahasham Yahweh Shai, Bahasham Rakakwadash, and double honors to our apostles and our elders of Great Millstone. Shalom.